Hello everybody, my name is Glenn, and today we are reviewing Netflix's new animated film, SEAL Team. SEAL Team is about a SEAL who's confident, brave. He assembles a misfit crew of other sea creatures to help him take on sharks that are trying to eat him and his family. The movie has an eclectic cast of voice actors, most notably Jesse T. Usher, Patrick Warburton, and J.K. Simmons, among many others. So how did I feel about this movie? It was terrible! Now, if you saw this movie and you disagree with my initial assessment of it, please let me know below. Change my mind. I would love to hear what you're thinking. And while you're at it, please subscribe to the channel. I would love to be able to share with you more fun, humorous entertainment and movie content to make your day. I was really excited after the first five minutes because the first five minutes opens with this retro homage to 80s action films. We get to see three of these seals in action. It's very, very funny. The comedy is great. I really enjoyed the first five minutes. I thought to myself, if this is any indication of the rest of this movie, we're in for a great ride. I was really hoping that we were going to get another Megamind. Megamind, if you haven't seen it, it's a 2000s animated film. It stars Will Ferrell and Brad Pitt. And it's a movie that both adults and the rest of the family, the children, can enjoy. And it works because the jokes hit home on different levels so that both the youngins and the parents can enjoy the movie. It's a movie that I would go back today and watch as an adult and really, really enjoy. What on earth is that? It seems to be emanating from there, sir. Um, hello? Uh, it's hello. Oh. Hello? Like that. And I think this is kind of the hope you have every time you watch an animated movie that's made for the family is, are there going to be jokes? They're going to carry this for the entire family. And the answer for this movie is no. The jokes were flat. It did not deliver. I was watching my phone for the better part of the middle hour of this movie, really hoping that something else was going to happen. I had to keep putting my phone down and putting it down and putting it down because there was just nothing entertaining going on in this middle third. There were some things that I did like about this movie. I think anytime you're dealing with animals as your main characters and they're sentient like humans, you've got a lot of ability to play around with different kinds of jokes or different features, different characteristics of all these different creatures and give them each their own unique personality. And we did see some of this. Dolph Lundgren, huge 80s action star, did make an appearance as, guess what, a dolphin. Amazing. And if anyone knows the, uh, the artist Seal, famous for Kiss from a Rose from the 90s Batman movies, which, might I also add, are terrible, but he also made a cameo in this movie as a Seal. You Seals have been an amazing audience. Now say, arf, arf, arf. <laughs> And so the creators and the directors brought in some of these A-list or now kind of B or C-list celebrities to come in and do cameos, and they had a lot of fun with it. And I was like, I would love to see more of this in the film. When am I going to see more of the dolphin? When do I get to see more seal being a seal? But it never came. The animation style and quality in this movie was excellent. However, there weren't enough exciting scenes to really make use of how great the animation was until maybe the last 15 or 20 minutes of the movie during those final fight scenes. I think, however, the biggest missed opportunity of this movie was doubling down on the 80s nostalgia. So we got some in the first five minutes, and the last five minutes of the movie actually ends with a SEAL Team theme song that was designed and recorded specifically for the movie, very much in the feel of an 80s power ballad, which I really, really liked. I wish there was more of that in the film. And I think because there was this lack of 80s nostalgia through the entire movie, the film ends up losing a lot of the more adult viewers that would have otherwise watched it with their kids and probably enjoyed it. A movie that actually does the whole 80s nostalgia thing really, really well was Despicable Me 3. In that movie, Balthazar Bratt, voiced by Trey Parker, is this forgotten 80s icon and he's out there to get his revenge. 
And throughout the entire movie, everything that he does has an 80s feel. Every time he's up to no good, there's 80s theme songs and music in the back. His hair and the way he dresses is very 80s. Dance fight! And that allows the viewer who has probably has kids and has watched them with those kids to relive part of their childhood and actually makes it a much more enjoyable watch. You can kind of stay in it, keep watching it, and laugh along with your kids and create new memories. And because SEAL Team only really bookends their movie with some 80s nostalgia in the beginning and 80s nostalgia at the end, you kind of get lost and you really just want to shut the dang thing off after 20 minutes. This movie has pretty solid voice acting. You recognize J.K. Simmons' voice right away. Patrick Warburton's as well. Even if you don't know who Patrick Warburton is by face and by look, you hear his voice and you're like, oh, I know that guy. He's had his voice used in tons and tons and tons of different shows and movies over the years. Kristen Schaal is wonderful in it as well. The voice acting, again, primo. But at the end of the day, the tremendous cast, the top-tier animation does not make up for a boring plot line, poor pacing, and otherwise flat jokes. So let's play a little quick scenario here. If you wake up with your kids and it's Saturday and they want to watch a movie with you and you say, yeah, sure, why not? Let's watch a movie together. And you scroll through SEAL Team and they want to watch that, I promise you, your kids probably going to enjoy it. It's going to entertain them for a little bit. You are going to want to pull your eyeballs out of your head because it is so boring, slow, and the pacing is terrible. So all in all, I give this movie about a 3.5 out of 10. Yeah, don't, just avoid it. Don't, don't bother if you can. All right, cinephiles, thank you for watching this review of SEAL Team, the Netflix animated film. We'd love to hear your thoughts below. Share them. Let me know what you thought of the movie. And until next time, have a wonderful day.